And the history of our country tells us against never ending attacks on democracy, the fierceness of the resistance to those attacks on democracy is the key to everything. Uh, two historians make that incredibly clear. Uh, no no fa more famous historians in our country than C. Van Woodward, John Hope Franklin. I quote them at length in my book. And they make the point here that when we fell from Reconstruction to Jim Crow, it wasn't simply that racist or anti-democratic forces emerged out of the blue and won. Their point is those forces are always there. And it was the collapse and the resistance of those forces that led to Jim Crow. So let me diagram this out. Let's call this sort of a democracy index. Well, after the Civil War, despite forces who didn't want a democracy in the South, that it at least included African Americans, uh, the federal government insisted that that happen. And that led to that resistance that, to those forces, led to an era of a relatively robust democracy where African Americans were registered voting big numbers. As the historians made clear, it was the collapse of that federal resistance that allowed the never ending attacks on democracy in the South, particularly African Americans voting, to succeed through court rulings, um, other steps, new laws, violence. And it was the failure of that resistance to maintain that led to an entire era, generations of Jim Crow. Well, the civil rights era was another example of pushing back. Resistance to those attacks on a robust democracy succeeded, led to another era of a robust democracy. Well, now we're seeing again the weakening voting of the Voting Rights Act, the Supreme Court rulings taking us the other way. This is where we are. Senators, the lesson could not be more clear. The forces attacking democracy are always there. The question is, will you resist fiercely or will you let them win?